What's going on everybody, it's Buddy here. So today is going to be a real quick video. We're going to be installing a kill switch. Or a quick disconnect, or a master shut off. There's a lot of different names for them. I'm not going to waste your time, we're going to jump right into it. You're going to need some wire snips. You're going to need a wrench of some kind. A utility knife with a nice sharp blade. And some ring lugs. And of course, most importantly, your quick disconnect. So let's jump right into it guys. Now the vehicle we're going to be working on is my 2001 utility van. Now this is going to be the exact same for any maker model vehicle, truck, SUV, van. It's not going to matter. It's going to be the exact same principle. So we got our positive side and we got our neutral here. What we're going to do is we're going to tap into our positive side. Now there is controversy which side you should go to. The National Hot Rod Association always claims that you should do it in your positive side. So that's what we're going to be doing. And honestly that's what I've always done for any one of these I've ever installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to cut into this plastic insulation. And once we got all that cleared away, we're going to take our wire cutters and we're going to give a nice clean cut. Now what we're going to want to do is strip away about a half inch of this wire. So we're going to take our utility blade, we're going to score up. It's just some pretty thick insulation, so it might take you a second. We're going to score around it like that. Be sure not to cut any vacuum hoses or anything around. So what you may want to do is take your wires and take some pliers here. And we're going to push them all together. Make a nice tight circle. And make sure not to leave any out. You want to make sure you get the right amount of voltage. You want all the copper you can get. And then we're going to take our wire lug here. Push it over all of our wires. You also want to make sure here you push it and close out all the copper. Or put some electrical tape to make sure there's no exposed copper. Now what I'm going to use for this part is some bolt cutters, just to crimp the wires down. You don't have to use bolt cutters, but it's definitely going to give you a lot of leverage to get those wires really crimped in there. Now we're going to do the exact same procedure here on the other wire. And I have a little bit of copper showing here at the bottom, so just as good practice, I'm going to put some electrical tape around the exposed copper. And if you're finding this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, guys. Now back to our quick disconnect. We're going to take this nut and remove it. And the washer on it as well. And then we're going to put it one of these terminals here, take our other one and put it in the other side. Now we're going to take our washer and our nut and put them on both of the threads. Now that we got them hand tightened, what we can do is take the whole quick disconnect, turn it around, take our wrench or a ratcheting kit, and then just tighten them up. You are good to go. Now, quick note, you might want to zip tie this to any solid surface just to make sure it doesn't touch any wires. Mine's good, it can wiggle all at once and it's not going to touch any metal. But if you do have a tighter compartment here, you might want to zip tie it or make some kind of a bracket to get it secured to something. Now it also has these nuts here that you can take off and then a screw here at the top that you can take this wing off. You can slide it through a bracket, you can tighten it on with these nuts. But other than that, that is pretty much all you need to know. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that little thumbs up button. It really helps me out more than you guys know. And also, definitely consider subscribing. I put some videos here that are pretty cool that I'm hoping you guys will enjoy. So check my channel out and see if it's something you'd like. Have a good one, guys.